Okay, so we'll get started. Um, the last time we played, I'm going to go ahead and share the map because things are going to clear up a little bit. Just to kind of make it a little easier for you guys to catch up. So I should have a map pop up for you new guys. You old guys should already know this. We have a new guy joining us. His name is Jolomon. an old EQ friend of mine. So I'm an old guy, but I missed the last session, so maybe I need a recap or something. Uh, actually, I need to put you on the map, too. Yeah, we'll get to that. One sec. Okay, thank you. So I've got everybody that is here on the map, and you should see a map. Um, the section that is yellow. Uh, when Somebody we last, dead, played, like. yeah, when we last played, those were um, blocked areas. I say blocked; they were super foggy. You couldn't see more than two or three feet. Um, but due to the wind in the air temple area, it's basically being sucked into the little vortex in the middle and it, and it has went away and I'm going to remove that. Give me a second. Well, that one is still there, the one to the south. Um, if somebody wants to do a kind of, uh, quick preview or review of what happened last week or last time we played you certainly can uh, I missed most of it so I don't remember um, so we were trying to close figure out a way to close the portal there's a portal in the center of the center of the room that appears to go to the plane of air and so while we were trying to close it, we were waylaid by a group of, uh, there were two uh, under priests and then a, a over priest behind them, named guy, named Cannon. And uh, and then there was a bunch of, was it lizard men that was in front of them? No, zombies. They were uh, some kind of uh, aqua zombies or something. And uh, so we were attacked by them. Uh, it was kind of rough going. The zombies had a lot more hit points than normal zombies, and the the uh, the under priests were casting lots of spells. So our healer got held right off the bat, but uh, we managed to kill uh, both of the priests. And uh, but then as we closed in on the cannon guy, um, gargoyles dropped down from the ceiling, so we had to deal with four gargoyles as well. So while we were fighting them and the rest of the zombies, then elementals joined the fight, uh, or at least at least one elemental, um, some sort of mephit or something, joined the fight and cast fog everywhere over everybody. Um, so uh, in all of that, uh, Jareth went down, and he's dying on the ground right now, and the healer is headed his way trying to get him up. And... Uh, everybody else is kind of disoriented um, because of all the fog and now some of the fog is lifted but that's that's where we're at in this fight we've still got you should still have zombies that are awake should still have uh, a named uh, cleric that's out there somewhere named cannon and uh, and there should be at least one mefit out there somewhere um, annoying us Get over you. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Okay. So, um, the, like I said, the fog in that area, immediate area, uh, at the right before it went away, Perfil was the only one that could see. So, um, you can still see. But you, when the fog goes away, you can see that Jareth is on the ground, uh, bleeding out. All of you guys can see him. I want to unlock tokens. Uh, just don't move past the fog there to the south. So right now we are out of combat. Okay, well I want to heal uh, Jareth and get him back up. Um, did I not put? Uh, I didn't put Jolomon on here. Hold on. 
He was missing. Can I lay hands on Jareth? Um, and you they certainly can. Go can. back in time and break things. No, they can't do that. You talk James, to James. James, you're on Vox, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, I heard you say uh, you can't go back in time and change things. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were we had a Star Trek discussion. It may be clean feed. Do you have clean feed? Can you oh. I don't know what just happened, but I grabbed like 14 dice. I want to go heal one. Okay, it's uh, clean feed. I, I turned that off. You can mute it to where it doesn't hear you hear your mic. Oh, well, I just turned it off. It's fine. Sorry, we're uh, watching the football right. game. There's there's a bit of a discussion about Star Trek. When I try to grab the plus, the, 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 the heal token and put it on him, it grabs like 14 dice. I will take 14 dice of healing. But no they're problem. all zeros. Oh. Rats. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. How is that you, even possible? You are level 7? So it added a d6 uh, that rolls a zero. It's just so you can see some dice roll um, whenever you do the uh, effect. So your lay on hands is used now. And uh, you healed 14 points to Earth. Or you tried to. It doesn't look like it went on him. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, it didn't go on him. There we go. I got it on him. Oh, because it's two points oh, per oh, level? Is that why? Correct. And you're seventh. Gotcha. I'll have Barney here heal him as well. Thank you. Now, the last time when we tried to play with the knife and the and the bowl on the altar, I got attacked. But do you think that has something to do with closing the uh, closing the rift? Maybe smash the bowl or something, or the knife. And those other two braziers seem like they went to like like to Hades or something. Yeah, because didn't we have a demon pop out of one? We tried to break it. Yeah, well, we. It looked like we shattered it, and then a uh, uh, Brock appeared. We had to fight him, and by the yeah. time we killed him, it looked like it had reassembled. All right, uh, Jolliman, do you have uh, heels? Are you? Did I hear you say you're a fighter cleric? That is correct. I do. Uh, I don't know how to use them. So the way to use your spells, um, if you're in the action mode, it only lists the buttons, which is a good thing. The To use the spell, um, like if you're casting it on somebody, like if it's something that they require a save, you generally target them and then click the button to cast it. And in the case of a heal spell, what you'll want to do is you'll click the cast button just to kind of use a slot. And then you can drag and drop that plus sign. You can drag and drop it on top of a token or drag and drop it on top of their slot in the combat tracker. And the combat tracker you can bring up by pressing the cross swords on the top right of the screen. Okay, I see what happened. The map came up over everything. Yeah, it'll do that. You can resize it if you need to. Okay. Uh, Barney's got one heal left, by the way. He is nearly spent. So who needs a heal? Uh, looks like uh, my guy, Grimlock, yeah. could probably use a, a heal. Everybody else is green right now. The zombie's been turned, I see, in the combat tracker. I don't think we turned them, but then they got unturned. I don't think we tried to return them afterwards. Oh, I don't guess I was supposed to see that. 
Uh, it was just one that was off the map. Ah. Yeah, they uh, they were being controlled by the guy that made them, and he just told them to go back. So if you make zombies, you can do that too. So, gentlemen, we are in, and I, I don't know if we talked about this, but uh, this is the Temple of Elemental Evil. There, the group has been trying to find a captured um, person. Um, his name is Thrommel. Uh, they're trying to find out if he's still alive. They don't know. Um, they've been trying to go through the temple and find him, um, just as kind of a overarching sort of bit that's that's the main goal other than that they've been exploring the temple itself um there's a long history around it i'm not going to go into it right now just because um it's in the middle of the game but um it's filled with uh a cult of as far as what they know is a, a cult from that follows some sort of elemental god or something to that effect they're not entirely sure what though I still can't figure out how to heal. All right, we can sort that out. Um, so, let me bring up the character sheet. Under your actions tab. Um, so, what do you want to do? Who, who do you want to cast this spell on, and what spell do you want to cast? Uh, cure light root wounds on Grimm. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, looking at the spell. It's got three buttons. One of them's a cast button. One of them's a heal button, one of them's a damage button. And you just cast the cure, so you're good. Now what you want to do is you want to take that plus sign, click on it, hold it, and drag it, and drop it on top of his thing. Okay, so we're not going to take that. Did not, I, want... I did not drag. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We'll just let you go ahead and do it again, but this time click and hold the button and drag and drop it on top of his token on the map and drop it on him or in the combat tracker. There you go. First one was better. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, he didn't do it. So it looks like um, didn't tick off one of your casts. Click the the little uh, dice button on the cure light wounds. There you go. So that that'll use a slot. Um, you, you know, you notice now the little one of the circles is checked. So. Okay, I think I got it now. It's the same way uh, it works with damage as well. Most cases, though, you'll probably want to do a save so you target them, and we'll go through that one when it happens. I'm still down 23 hit points, by the way. Yes, you are. Oh, there we go. Now I'm green. Only down 12 now. Thank you, sir. Make Just sure make you do the actual the cast. As cast, well, yeah. It out. There you go. You at least did you just click the checkbox? I think I I dragged the uh, you know red cross over. I did a cure moderate on that one. Right, you did. Uh, and, and as far as the heal part, you did that right. I'm just trying to figure out how the checkbox got set. The only way to do that is to manually click it or to click the that little dice there. And I don't see that the dice was rolled. Have it. Okay. I might, yeah. I might. So you, you can do that, but if you do the dice roll thing, it does the sound effects for people that are listening to it. So, and we can work out how to do that for you next time too. The sound. Right, I'm trying to find something. Well, I hate using. There we go. 
right, so we're in the the room that you're in uh, in the center part where that little vortex looking thing is uh, it is kind of a whirlwind a small looking little tornado that kind of goes from floor to the ceiling um, right now it's full of the foggy stuff that was pulled into it um, but it, it it always has kind of this aura you can kind of see it's just spinning like a small tornado or something uh, right uh, right in the middle of it there is a portal that opens up into this um, what you assume is an elemental plane of air Now, if you look in the brazers, what's in the brazers? Um, when it, I think we went over this last time, but they are they have coal or embers in them that are burning and smoking, and as they the smoke comes off of them, you know it kind of just, just swirled into the vortex in the middle. Charles, okay. thank you. Did you uh, you tried pouring something up? To put the fires out last time, correct? Uh, yeah, I want to say we put, yeah, we put a water skin, a whole water skin worth of water on there, and it didn't do anything. Want to try holy water? We had talked about it, but we didn't actually try that. So yeah, if you got one, go ahead and. Give I it believe a I do. Let me check to make sure. But, we try to dispel magic. Uh, we did. Actually, uh, I had the priest try and cast it, and it was no effect. But I don't know if it was no effect because I didn't roll well, or just because you cannot dispel that portal. I, I don't know. You could try and dispel it. Okay. You're welcome to do that. But I'll tell you I that can if you want. when we when we cast dispel on the portal is when you know shit went sideways. I, I don't know that one had anything to do with the other, but I'm just telling you, we cast dispel magic. Nothing happened to the portal, and then everything came out the door to the south and attacked us right at that point. Well, I got one. If you if you want me to do it, just let me know. Uh, so my guy Wilson is uh, peering into the fog, I guess, to the south. The the door to the south is still open, correct? It is. Yes, it is. And above the doorway, do I see any signs of gargoyles or, or anything? Are they... Because they just seemed to pop from the ceiling before, so I'm assuming they were maybe in statue form above the door um, prior, and we just never noticed. Well, the, the area that you're looking at is kind of a set of stairs that go up. And so you're not sure if they were at the top, top part of the stairs or what, but whenever you guys move in that area they came from above which could have been at the upper part of the stairs you're not entirely sure okay so i do so i'll go to the top of the stairs and i'm looking for signs of these gargoyles i, I should see some remnants i think we killed at least one or two of them on the ground but i want to see if these gargoyles are going to pop down again or anything from where you're at now, you don't see anything. Uh, even the corpses of the priests that you guys have killed are gone. There is blood stains, but that's it. And when I say stairs, I mean this section. This is stairs. The part you're standing on is oh. just kind of like a dais going into the stairs. Gotcha. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're heading into the fog. All right. I wish I had a gust of wind spell. All right, Wilson, I'll move to the edge of the fog and listen. Okay, so as you guys have, you, you spend a lot of time kind of snooping around and re, you know, healing your friends and stuff, but as you move up the dais onto the stairs going into the hallway uh, that's above it, the, the fall kind of dissipates. Okay. Actually, you can see beyond that. But you recognize the area. I mean, you've been through here a couple of times. There's the portcullis. Don't move past the stairs, please. Um, the uh, portcullis is... You guys oh, had opened... Out here? The 
to yeah. Portcullis. We've been here before, remember? Yep. Yeah, it's a Portcullis. You've been here before. Don't move past the stairway, please. Where is... Okay. Gotcha. I think we're at the edge of the stairway right now, correct? Yeah. I'm trying to show you where you're... The hallway, you know, the... The T... Or the cross is. You know, you got... Left and right and straight ahead. The straight ahead is the Portcullis that you guys had opened in the past. Right now it's closed. Um, you guys can feel the wind kind of blowing at your back um, pretty strongly. And to the your left, it's red. Uh, you can kind of see the... And in fact, I'll go ahead and reveal this because you guys have seen this section before. your right is the kind of green sort of bluish light that emanates from the doorways to that side and then to the left uh, is the red one that you know is the fire temple or you assume the fire temples where all the fire stuff was both there is you know kind of give off you know you look into the left you know you know just kind of that side of the hallway itself is just warm and you can kind of feel the heat coming off of it. And the other side, it kind of looks like you're looking through an aquarium. It looks, you know, kind of wavy. What do you want to... Okay. So I'm not sure if I pushed... What was the last thing you heard me when I was pushing, talking? Don't move past the stairway. Don't oh move my past god. The I, I'm going to turn my voice activation back on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I went through all this descriptive bullshit and now I got to do it all over again. Ugh. I was trying to do that just so I could have and not have to. Uh. Anyways, alright. So, let's see if I can remember all what I did. Uh, you guys have been here. The portcullis to the south is closed. It's not opened. Um, to the west, your right, this way, uh, the doors give off a kind of green light. Looking in that direction, it kind of gives you. Know, it looks like you're looking into water, like an aquarium. To the right, uh, no, left. To the left, your east. Um, you've been in that room. That is the fire temple or what you assume is the fire temple. Um, just, you know, that kind of side of the hallway itself is hot. Um, it doesn't bother you guys that are wearing the rings of, you know, fire resistance and that sort of thing. But the rest of you guys, it's, it's very hot. Um, and where you're standing at right now, um, you can kind of feel the wind, you know, buffeting you a little bit. Um, it seems the further you move, the stronger it gets. The further we move away from the portal? Yes. The room. Oh. That area. Or maybe it's the hallway. I'm not sure. Is there anything written on the bowl on the altar? There is not. How about on the dagger? There is not. Okay, can I walk out into the hallway? Um, sure. One second. Let me get rid of this token we got on here that we don't need. Um, you want to move into the hallway. To do so, I need to do this. You're able to move into the hallway against the force of air. Okay, so the wind stronger out here as the as I yep. get into the hallway. Yep. In which way is the wind blowing? Yeah, that was my next question. Um, it is blowing against you if you were going in. So the guys that are in, you know, where you guys, all the rest of you stand, you can feel it blowing at your back. Um, but Grimlock, just instead of, you know, you normally you would be, um, if it, if you had failed, it would have pushed you down into the floor and you wouldn't have been able to move because it's going, it's blowing so hard. 
So is it coming out of the room with the portal or in towards the portal? It's not past that doorway. It's like maybe the hallway itself is okay. doing this. Okay. Um, so I want to move to this square here. All right. You want to move again? One second. You're able to move. Okay, guys. Well, I'm thinking that uh, this hallway is not an option right now since we're having to save for each square. So I'll uh, I'll pop back, pop back onto the stairs here. Anybody else want to try anything? Oh, would that ring of free action help with moving out there? Uh, no. It wouldn't have changed the way you had to do what you were doing. Okay. Does uh, anybody else want to try anything? Jareth? Uh, Jolomon? Avarice? Orc? Any of you guys? Nope. No, I can't think of anything right now. Which way are we trying to go? Are we trying to go south? Do that block well, this is where the bad guys were, where they escaped to. They came in through that south door, and then the, the named guy retreated through the same door. We think. Actually, we don't know, because it was all fog-covered. But they came in through this way. Let's just put it that way. You do, you did see that the door over here, that door when you were looking around the corner and trying to walk through the, the wind, that door was not closed all the way. Okay. Is there any other way out of the room with the portal? Um, yeah, you have... Right you have a door here. This is where you guys came in. Um, you have a door here and here. I don't think you guys have tested either one of those east and west doors. Yeah. What you need Let's to do, do is that. go check those doors out. So I'll uh, I'll go over here. I'll follow the perimeter of the room. Yeah, he's in a bag, squished beyond recognition. Not true. <coughs> oh, that's thing. true. <laughs> Jareth. Give me a shot. Jareth is not bleeding to death anymore. That's true. I think he doesn't want us to have any thieves in this party. He keeps trying to kill them off. So far, so good. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sneezing, guys. Alright. So what are we doing? Uh, Jareth, you want to check out the door? Yeah, let me check. Find trap <coughs> rolls in the tower? Yes, sir. I'm going to put a find remove traps roll in the, in the tower. Go for it. You do not find anything. <coughs> Ooh boy. You're allergic to something. Nah, I don't know what it is. Well, I know what it, exactly what it is. I ate some chocolate. That's what it is. Uh huh. I was gonna ask if you had. <laughs> Just like fucking 30 minutes ago, man. Ugh. You don't uh, find any traps. Right, anything else? The door is safe. And I would like to listen at this door, just to make sure. Ah, give me a detect noise here, noise in the tower, please. I'm gonna keep an eye on the door to the south. Gotcha. 
You don't see anything at the door to the south, and you do not hear anything through that door, especially with all this wind and racket going on. Anything through Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, open the door. Uh, you open up the big stone doors. And you see a hallway. One second. Directly opposite is another set of double doors, and the hallway continues to the north. Okay. The 20 foot passage wide. I'll step out into the hallway and look north. as you can see. Okay. Um, I'll step over to the door over here and listen. You hear the sound of dripping water. Okay. I'll uh, call for Jareth. Jareth, you want to come check out this door? All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and find traps first. All right, give me a roll of tower, please. You do not find any traps. All right, uh, we'll listen at this door too. You hear nothing. This door seems safe too. Okay, I'll go ahead and open that door. Another door. And let me draw section. It opens up into a long hallway that heads southwest. Kind of got a green sort of tint to it. The further it goes south and around the corner. Okay. I'll uh, head down the hallway here. With Barney in, the, in tow. Just push F to follow. <laughs> you say anything Wilson I did not okay so I'll move towards the door here and listen all you can hear is just like you have your ear against a um, something that's full of water Jareth you want to come check out this door All right. Traps first. Go for it. You find nothing. Noise. You hear the same thing that Finial did, or uh, Grimlock did. It just sounds like you got your ear next to a keg of something that's you know, like a big barrel of water or something. This whole room seems full of water. Might be careful opening this door. So, yeah, that's a good question. Is there a crack underneath the door or a crack between nope. the doors or anything like Negative. that? There so is it appears no. to be complete. A very well made door. Yes. 
Okay. Want to uh, step back then, in case there is an onrush of water that comes out of here. So I'll move Barney down the hallway here, where he can still see. And uh, I'll uh, take a wanna, firm. So do you want a rope tied to you or anything before this happens? Um, I, I'm not really worried about it because my guy does have the ring of free action. Okay. So even if it does submerge like that, I could still move pretty easily. Uh, so I, I will go ahead and, like I said, I'll take a, a firm, you know, kind of position myself or you know assuming something's going to be coming out of the door and I'll go ahead and open it slowly at first all right one second this is gonna give me a bit to this room Second. So when you open up the door, uh, you can see the guy that you were fighting earlier. He's standing next to an altar. Um, looks like he is praying to it. You're not entirely sure what he's doing. Um, and you can also see that some of the, um, zombie things that you guys were fighting. Um, there's some more here. There's also, looks like, a couple of them are the zombies of the priests that you guys slew. So he must have raised those as well. But okay. he sees the door open, and he just kind of smiles in your direction. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get some of these on the squares that weren't on the squares. And you see him say something, but you can't hear it. It doesn't like translate through wherever he is. You look through the room, and when you open up the door, it looks like it's just a sheet of water. You know, like it's just there. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of wavy, like it's you know you're looking at the surface of a lake, but it's not you know flat. It's you know in front of you. Okay. And none of the uh, the guys that are in the room, they're all just kind of um, standing there, not make, taking any immediate action. So I'll uh, summon everybody. I'll tell everybody to, to that what I see in the room. I, guys, I see all the bad guys have to be. Um, they appear to be almost encased in water. You know, there appears to be a wall of water uh, in front of me. Um, but I can see them very clearly. And so I, I will go ahead, uh, I yell to them that, and I'll go ahead and kind of put my hand into the water. To see. Feels like water. Can't fight them in there. It's a big aquarium. What it looks like. Yep. 
They're standing in it. Close the door, lock it, bar it. <laughs> so what's in the center? Of uh, it's some kind of weird looking altar. You're not entirely sure what it is. This is the temple of elemental evil. It is. It's probably water evil. Could be. We just came from air evil. Well, does this look like something you spell? Avarice? Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. I gotta do hey, I can try. Take a stab at it. So, while you guys are sitting there um, debating, talking, discussing, you see him kind of interacting with the altar and his hands are kind of waving over. And as he does, um, as you're sitting there waiting, doing whatever it is you're doing, you see... Two more of the sort of zombie guys. Come, they it looks like they're birthed from the thing, just kind of black. This black ooze starts coming out of the top. And then these two sort of like the similar to the other zombies, it looked like they're, you know, they were underwater. Their bodies were underwater for a long period of time. And then just kind of throw them onto the floor. Or they kind of float to the floor, I guess. And uh, you see two more come out. So what do you want to do? Okay. You gonna do it, James, or what? Uh. And I, I just asked you over here to look and look like something you could dispel. That's your decision. Uh. I. Uh, am I supposed to know that? Uh, that thing. I'll cast the spell. I don't have a clue what it is. Where are you casting? What are you casting this spell on? Casting the spell on the altar. Is that a good idea? Uh, this w waddle in front of us. You want me to cast a spell on the on the fish tank? I walk in the. You move into it. Yes. Okay. Um, you you step into it. It doesn't feel like entirely like water. I mean, you feel a little wet, um, but it you know you can feel like the 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 water against your face is not keeping you from breathing, <clears throat> but it definitely slows you down. Um, like it will take. So like if you have a move base of six, you can only move like you know. Let's see. 30 feet, maybe? Yeah. Even with so, the ring of free action? Um, mm, no. Yeah, you can move your full move. Okay. All right. Anybody uh, else that doesn't have free action, uh, it would basically, like if you have a move base of 12, it would reduce that by a, a two. Hold on, let me do the math. Like, hold on. So you'd have a move base of four. So a third? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll uh, But those out. things are not attacking? Uh, not right now, no. Okay, I'll back out of okay. the room and then yell at the... Uh, and tell them that you can breathe and whatever in here. It's just uh, a lot slower to move. We need to hurry up and... Uh, and 
main guy before he summons more zombies than what we can handle. And uh, with that, I will run back in the room and uh, and take a swing at uh, zombie C11. So you moved out. You said all that thing. You did all your testing. Yep. You did all your explanation. So anybody else want to do anything before we go on? I actually cut out too much. So who cut out? Anyway, yeah, Charles did while he was. That's okay. I guess we're headed in. Sounds like it. Yeah. So um, if you're gonna move in, we need to go ahead and this and this. Oh, that's too bad, gentlemen. Can't hear this. I need you to roll initiative, please. Yeah, it looks like Brian just disconnected. Did it? Yeah. Can I hear? Harris says waiting for reconnect. Yeah, we can hear you. I can hear you. Just roll a d10. Uh, what you'll use is if you're going to cast a spell, you'll use that orange, like there's an orange number uh, on the that spell. You'll use that to roll initiative. Or if you're doing an attack, you'll use the you know under your weapons section. You'll use that as your initiative. You'll double click that orange number. Um, if you're just moving and not doing anything else on the front of your character sheet, you can just double click the initiative there. And we're waiting on Baez and Jolomon. Uh, yeah, just roll your normal initiative for that. Hey, am I the only person that's having trouble here in Jolomon? Because I turned him all the way up. He's at like 200% volume and he's still really low. Yeah, no, it's not just you. His volume is really quiet. I've got him at 200% as well. <laughs> Jolomon, I don't know if there's any way you could increase your gain at all, but that would help. So it looks like Parafil is going first. Uh, he didn't roll initiative. That's why he's going no, first. No, I did not. Did you? I didn't. Know, I didn't know we were rolling initiative. Yes, we are. Go ahead. And we'll move it to John. There you go. It did not. You are not there. You are not here. It shows me there. That's weird. yeah. You're not connected. At all. <clears throat> yeah, you're not even listed as a character on the top. Better to relaunch. So I'm going to set you as initiative uh, 99 and we'll come back to you. Um, the next person in the line was Jolomon. Uh, where is he? Okay. Yeah, you're reconnecting, bro. What is Jolomon so doing? So where do you want to move to? So that's generally line of sight, so right there would probably do it. Go ahead and select these for you. Actually, what I want you to do. Let me do this. Okay, this real quick. What level are you? Priest, you're six, right? Level six, yeah. Uh, so, what I need you to do is roll a d20 and do it in the tower, please.
So I need to roll sicker. So those three right there. Um, I need to. The front three all seem to kind of put their arms in front of their head, their faces and you know your holy symbol try to kind of uh, block it the rest of them don't seem to be affected and our next person is uh, bias what is bias doing rope out of your backpack? Yeah. Okay. That's it? That's it? Grimlock. So my guy is going to... Um, I can move, what, half of my move? And, uh... And still... I did not hear the last half of that. Oh, jeez, man. Um, what's your mind? If I have a move of six, how far can I move and still attack? 60 feet. Uh, oh, half of that. 30. Keep so in mind, he gonna... can't move that far. He doesn't have free action. Oh, he like can. Either. That's right. That's right. He can't move like that. All right. So how far? He can move a third of his move, right? Right. That's like three. Correct. So he can move thirty. That's his full move. Right. And can you reset? By chance, can you? Just, uh, can, he can see the uh, the zombies, right? So mm -hmm. he'll go he ahead can. and do a he'll go ahead and do a turn as well on the six zombies that he can see. Okay. So I need to one second. Let me get the table up. <coughs> what level of priest is he? He is a level six priest. Okay. so... Give me a D20 in the tower, please. You got it. So, he manages to... Uh, he turns one of them. Set it. It'll be the guy on the front. That one right there. Done. Okay. Can you clear the move path? Or it is cleared on my screen. Got okay. No matter. I'll uh, pass my turn. Avarice, what are you doing? Okay. 
James. James? James is doing nothing. Probably watching football games. Yeah, Wilson, you know there's a football game tonight, right? Yeah, I don't I mean, know shit on. about football. Oric, what are you doing? I'm going to turn whatever's left, I guess, please. Yeah, attempt to turn. Okay. Uh, give me a d20 in the tower, please. Paladin, which makes you a fifth level priest, right? I don't know if it makes me a priest at all or not. Uh, as far as turn undead. I think that's up, right? Yeah, that's right. Should I hit the turn button or what? No, I've got it. You rolled the 20, that's what I was using, looking at the turntable. Uh, this room is a little different than normal, so that's why I'm doing it uh, through the tables, not the button. So you managed to turn the other two to the back. And that is your action, sir. All right, thank you. Guy was casting a spell, and it was Mark is blinded. The rest of you guys, all you see is Grimlock's eyeballs are now just light sources. That was his action. Jareth, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to move up as far as I can to try and help uh, Grimlock. So, you want to move into the room? Is that what you're saying? It's really hard to hear you guys. Like, half of you guys are cutting in and out. Here, fine. Something like this? Yeah, I, I think I, I. Everybody sounds good to me. I'm not hearing anybody cut, cut out at all. It's like you guys are cutting out at the end of your conversation, so I'm only getting like the first half of it, half the time. Okay, you I'll wanna, try and leave the. No, no, you, you're fine. You want to be right there? I'm going to go me, as like... far as I can towards Grimlock. I'm... But I'm assuming as I get in the water. Yeah, you're definitely I... gonna. You're gonna slow. Hold on. Let me just figure this out. Don't don't move your guy. I'll try to figure out. So it's 35 feet just to get there, and then you have another like 20 feet you can move. Yeah. Move as far in, get as close to cannon as I can, uh, but not go toe to toe with the zombies. So you can get to there and have 20 feet left, so figure it out where you want to go. Right there. Gotcha. Next is Airfell. Alright. He's going to... Now when you're moving, would you just Does stop that... there? Yeah, you okay. Stop in there. And that's as far as you're going, or you wanted to move in? As far as I'm going. Go on to Avarice now. Okay. Avarice, be back. Let me ask this. For that altar. In other words, can we see the cleric behind it? Uh, 
Uh, you can see the upper half of it. Okay. James, you back? Swine! We're gonna just, uh, remove him. He shows back up, we'll pull him back in, but he's watching football games. Alright, so, um, the two people, uh, actually just one person is there. Uh, Grimlock standing next to the cannon. You see that giant statue behind him. It looks like a sort of tentacle mm, amalgamation of fish and octopuses and squids and all these other things. But when you come next to the priest, after you've been standing there a bit, you know, getting ready to do whatever it is you're going to do next round, the big long tentacles start moving around and all four of them swipe at you. Wow, two, three, three, 19. There we go, there we go. 6 damage. Awesome. Why is he minus 4? Is it calling him a giant? Maybe minus 4. That is weird. Alright. And that is him. And it begins to amble forward in your direction. Moving slowly. And the zombies, uh, they can't really move that much in the water. Um, but they're kind of all turning and looking at the priest and uh, Central Park. So that's kind of their action. And we'll go to... Do all these guys. There you go. We've been waiting for you to get back here. All right. Roll initiative, gentlemen. Was that James? Is he back? Yes. Yeah, yeah where'd my guy go? Uh, you went AFK, so I removed you so we could keep going. Are you back? Yeah, my guy disappeared. You haven't rolled your initiative yet. Looks like everybody else has. If you're back. Is he gone again? I don't know. <laughs> He's you not know answering. <sighs> I'm gonna just remove. Everybody else has rolled. Uh, our first person is Jolman. Jolman is stepping forward 10 feet. What are you doing? We've been trying to ask you what you... Can, have can you rolled you Are you going to act? I guess not. James, can you hear us? Yeah, he's gone now. All right. Gentlemen, you go. You move forward. What are you doing? No, that was Orc. Sorry, wrong person. I'm gonna go after the cleric. You want to move to where the cleric is? That guy?
He can't move through targets, through bad guys. You gotta move around them. And to do that, you've got to do this kind of stuff. And since you're moving through this water, you can only move 30 feet. Which puts you about right there. Juggernaut gets to go again, and since nobody else is here, he's doing four more attacks. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Barney! Brother Bjarni is and uh, how far can he move once he gets in the water? His move is nine. Like twenty-five feet. Target him. Yep, you got him. I'm dropping it, buddy. Oh. Hold on. Three magic missiles into the priest! The cannon! Burp, burp. This is going to take a little bit because he is removing the turn effect that you guys put on the zombies. That was his action. No, it's like I can't interrupt your turns either. It's not like a spell pass. I don't know, I don't know what to look Yeah. Well, that was his action. Uh, Grimlock, you are... You can't see. You're... You know, you got light. You know, all you see is bright light. What do you want to do? at the cannon in that right, direction. Give me a save versus spells in the tower, please. Okay. Alrighty. Um, give me a swing. Do you want me to swing at him? Or just uh, roll it just, out? Just... Roll it out and open it. Just do a normal attack. You don't want me to do a minus four or whatever? Nope. I have blind nope. fighting. Well, if, if, you know, if we're going to sit here and debate this all, let me just tell you, you missed because you were swinging completely in the wrong place. That's what the save was for. 
to see if you even know where he was. Um, so, oh, I, um, I mean, oh, okay, whatever. My turn's over. Uh, unless you have two attacks. I do have two attacks. Okay. If you want to do another do save in the tower, you know, do a save in the okay. tower. Um, again, you don't know really where he is, so don't necessarily need to roll it um, since we're past it. Work. Stepping forward and attacking a zombie, I guess. Work. My yes, sir. Mark. Step forward and attack, yes. Okay. Uh, does it matter which one you swing at? Oh, any of them are fine. Right, I'll target one for you. There you go. You can just do your attack. That's it. Damage. Damages. You only get one attack around, right? Yeah, I think every so many rounds I get two. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is an even round, so if you have uh, multiple attacks every other round, this is the round you'd get it. So go ahead and do your, another attack. That was initiative. Go ahead and do the attack. That's it, damage. Oh, six damage. All right. Next is Baez. What are you doing, bud? Well, I mean my wand at the uh, at the camp. All righty, go for it. Charge and next. I gotta get that open. I don't have the tracker. Oh wait, here it is. Sorry about that. There you go. Yeah. Jeff. Okay, I'm gonna continue to swim around these zombies. All right, you can move 40 feet. Just know when you get. Okay, do you know this thing right here in front of or behind the cannon? has been flinging tentacles at Grimlock, so... The Juggernaut? Yeah. Uh, in fact, let me make him bigger. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't want to get that close to the Juggernaut. Yeah. Because moving through him is... It would it would automatically get a swipe at you. That's why I was mentioning it. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack a sea zombie then. One of these zombies. Alrighty, go for it. Attack around, right? Alright, so this one is targeting. Barney. Uh, zombie is going to step here. That's his action. This guy is going to move here. That's his action. This one is going to move here. That's his action. This one's going to target work and attack. This one's going to target Barney. Yes. That is 
is, I believe, the end of the round. Gentlemen, roll initiative. before he does it. Is that okay? Because they're, they're not turned anymore. Nope. Yeah, he's got to do that. Second one, he missed. He gets two there. Um, he, I mean, he only moved 15 feet. He can. What is that? What is half his move? That, that would be his move base is 12. Half of that is uh, yeah. 20 is half his move, so he can still attack. He only moved 15 feet. How much feet. damage did he just take? 13? Eight. Right? Eight. He took eight damage. Yes. That 13 was wow. the hit. <clears throat> So he, he only moved, he moved less than half his move, so he can do something. Like attack. Um, I'm just worried I made the wrong decision now because I didn't realize he was already so damaged. Anyway, I, I did what I did, that's fine. Um, heal, right? He can't heal while he's moving? But he can't attack after moving less than half his move. Okay. Uh, yeah, he'll... Uh, it's tough call. Tough call. Why not? I really wish people were here to play their own characters. That's what I wish. Uh, well, I'm trying to suggest to you to swing at the cannon. Yeah, I know. That's what I'll do. <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. Maybe I was just dragging it out. Next time, I'll just tell you uh, he can swing at the cannon or something. Okay. Uh, and I understand. I agree with you. I wish those that were here were playing. Um, yeah. I just wondered. Warwick. It was like he couldn't hear us. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I don't know. I don't know what's up. All right, Warwick. You attacking the same one? Yes, please, sure. All right, he rolled a hit. That's a hit, roll damage. These guys have very high AC, so they're easy to hit. Six damage, nice. Fairfell, your go. All right, and to at the cannon. All right. 
Alrighty. Gentlemen, you go. Guessing you're gonna do it on Barney, the guy in front of you? Bajarney. Yep. Nice heal. Yeah, he appreciates it. He is. Don't forget to click the uh, cast button. Did you tick it or did you click the cast button? Because if you click the cast button, it'll do the sound effect. I didn't hear it. I, uh, yep, I hit the red, I dropped the red X on to cast the heal, and then I hit the tick. Okay, so you manually clicked it. Okay, so you got, you're good. All right. Grimlock. Okay, Grimlock is, um, Applying ointment to himself, Keekin's ointment. Okay. Go for it. Um, so I will do that. I don't know if that helps with the blindness. I was kind of hoping it would. Uh, if no, I won't. It's not a like a disease or something like that. It's not like a blindness spell. It's a light spell in your eyes. Multiple charges of it, or can I only do one charge at a time? One application per round. Does that automatically check off a charge, or I need to do that manually? You need to manually do that, yeah, I think. And is it unchecking or checking? Checks are used. Checks are used. Alrighty, so the cannon has two new targets. He is going to change. He is going to swing. He's got this rod that uh, really bright and shiny and looks really nice. And he's swinging it at Barney. too far. That's not good for Grimlock. Means Grimlock gets whacked four times. Twice hit. Oh wow, 11. So 15 damage from that. Baez. Damn. Alright. Let's up another charge and Jareth. Okay, I'm going to attack this sea zombie again. Go for it. Already got him targeted. Ooh, hit! He is not large. Uh, let's 
got to move. He's trying to chase his target. That's what he does. This guy. This guy is going to target Jareth this time. and Barney both like to roll. That is a terrible token for that juggernaut thingy. I should have picked a better one. Auric! You guys turned on my cell phone? I uh, need you to roll initiative, please. Awesome. There we go. Bias. Okay. Um, so Grimlock has is blinded by light yep. and space, correct? Yep. Uh, then I'm going to smack him with a dispel magic. Alrighty, uh, what level are you? Fifth. Or fifth. He is what? Let's see. Give me a D20 in the tower, please. Well, that works. I'm wondering if I should do the other thing I should probably do too. Yeah, I probably should have fallen off. Right? Well, well it's a 30 foot radius, so if that juggernaut's vulnerable to dispel magic, he's going to Yeah. Be I'm mostly talking about. Let's say somebody has a jar of Keto Mortmans out in their hand right now and he casts a spell uh, magic on you. What's the range on that look, spell, by the way, just to be sure? I'm pretty sure you're within range. You're 35 feet. 120 yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 120 feet. So, yeah, you're, you're definitely within range. Um, uh, give me a save versus spells. Uh, let me reduce, remove the blindness first before you do this, Grimlock. All right, now give me a save versus spells in the open, Grimlock. Okay. This is to, uh, because he cast his spell magic, it's an AoE, it's not like a single target thing. And you succeeded. So you managed to cover up your Kingdom's ointment before the dispel ruined it. So Sorry. you are also no longer <laughs> blinded. Okay. Sure. All right. Thank you. Next. Dolan, what are you doing? I think I gotta try to cross close with the red block and heal first. Okay. So normally, um, well, in this case, it's harder to move through the water, but you can certainly move to like this square right here and be able to cast a heal next round because you can't move and cast.
Thanks for the host scrimble or uh, go Simba. So um, you can move there and cast a heal the next round. That's, I mean, you can move a little farther than that. You've got to, if you wanted to move your full distance. Could pro you could move to there and do it. I mean, the problem is, is you can't move and cast at the same time. So you could move to there, or just move, just step to the side of uh, Bajarni and be able to, to do it. You just want to step there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Our next to go is Parafel. All right. I don't know what this effect is going to have going through this watery world, but I'm starting a lightning bolt right in front of me, 10 foot wide, and enjoy it. You don't have to. You do not have to. I will save you the trouble because I know how this works. Yeah. But Parafel does not. He's going to try it. He, his intent was a... Uh, his intent was a 10 foot wide hole towards cannon. No, no. So you can target anything in that. Including your guys. Target friendlies too, yeah. yeah. So what happens when a lightning bolt. Outside. Not outside. No, water. you're right. You're right. Right. No, it doesn't. Do um. So you cast a lightning bolt in water and it explodes like a fireball, which it's, uh, so it's like, he started it right where the center of that is, so it's a 20 foot circle. So anything in that is going to have to save versus spells. And then he'll do the damage. So, um, he, um, it looks like, hold on, it looks like, okay, you don't have to yeah, I think you're good. All right, go ahead and do it for him. Yeah, it is the Juggernaut. I've kind of changed him up. Uh, instead of being a rolly around thing, he is a, um, a big tentacle monster. So he just slaps people around with his four tentacles. Um, the roll around thing I never really was fond of. <laughs> yep, all you got to do now is just do the damage. Uh, and it's the same damage. Except for... Uh-oh, somebody died. Oh! Zombie died. Good, good, good. You got a lot of them. Uh, you got your buddies didn't die. You hit a lot of bad guys. I think I think that's a win. It's a learning experience. Oh, zombies kill Bluey. <laughs> yeah, definitely a learning experience. And all it needs to click off from the middle. Uh, yeah, you can click the uh, like the I just crossed out thing. Oh, okay. And I'll go ahead and unselect everything for you. Alrighty, and you can go to next. Yeah, I uh, I like this one better. It, although it, it kind of hurts a little worse. All right, Grimlock can see. Can I see Cannon in front of me? You can, and he is looking right at you. Axe. He's getting the axe. All right, go for it. Oh, this is probably He's a regular size. Yes, he is regular size. He is not super sized. Oh my lord, this is gonna kill him. Ah! <laughs> I told you what. All right. What are you doing now? Big juggernaut, four tentacles flailing around around you. What are you gonna do? Get away from it. I can't split my attack, can I? Uh, yeah, he's right next to him. You can swing once at him. Okay. Um, well, I could try and move away, but I don't think I can move away without taking nope. attacks. Nope. You can't so, move. So you already attacked. Yeah, so I'm swinging. That 20. Oh, he is large. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Oh my nice. god! 33 hit points! Nice. Holy Very shit! Nice. Oh, uh, wow. Is there a sound effect for hit for gallery clapping? Because <sighs> that's yeah. what we need right now. Oh, so uh, <laughs> wow. I don't have a good. I have all the terrible ones. Let me see. If 
forgot something. Man, that was fantastic. I can do this. There it's, we go. I don't, I, I don't have an instantaneous mode. sort of thing. <laughs> That's going to have to work for now. Alright. Uh, so who was after him? Jareth. I'm not right, going to play got... too long. Change my target, and I'm going to roll an attack. Go for it. Sadly, I missed. Alrighty. Barney is casting a right. heal on somebody. Oh, continual well, light. I was casting continual light, but now Grimlock is unblinded, so can I change it to a heal instead? Uh. Not supposed to. Um, the way it's supposed to work is you decide at the beginning of the round when the spell is supposed to be. So, and you can't change that spell. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no for now. Sorry. Because if I do it, it'll have to be for everybody, and I really don't want to have to remember that. Okay. Can I pick a different target? I'll let you. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yes. You're definitely gonna pick another target. I'll let you do that. So if you want to continue a light. Juggernaut. Have an eyeball. Uh, don't see any. It's just like a floundering. It's like these long tentacles with like, just like I said, an amalgamation of like fish and octopuses. Well, it's and it's, it's just like a mass of just things all kind of mashed together. And they're all just kind of flailing. I mean, there is some eyes on it and they're moving around, but they, you're not really sure if that's what he's using to see. Yeah. Okay, well, um... Point. That's my best go. So I'm going to cast Continual Light um, at the Juggernaut with an attempt to maybe try and impede its visibility so that it can't get the Juggernaut so easily. Gotcha. So you tell me what you want me to roll. Uh, just cast the spell on it. And it should do a save. Alrighty, so he targeted some eyes on the thing, and it does seem to have, you know, got one of the, there's like a fish with its head sticking out on the side, and the eyes on it are glowing. And Auric, you're good. Okay, can I, can I chug my potion and swing at the same time? Uh, no, you can do one or the other. You can chug your potion or swing. Yeah, I'm going to chug a potion of extra healing. Alrighty. The whole thing? Uh, one crossword. Okay. If you drink the whole thing, it's like 3d8 plus 3. Yeah. It looks like it took 1d8, so I assume it's 1d8. If, if you just do a sip, yes. You can sip it three times or drink it all at once. If you're just doing it a little bit at a time, then you're good. I just took one. All right. All right. One second. All right. Uh, next is Juggernauts. Can't swing at anybody but come on. And I am going to have two of the tentacles use no penalties, and then the other two will have penalties because they are blind. This is kind of weird. And since you're dead, the other three tentacles wrap him up and pull him over. Here. Like he's lifting him up and pushing him towards nobody's looked, but above the uh, altar here, there is this shimmering sort of circle at the top, and it looks like water. 
is there. Like, you're not sure what's on the other side of it, but you're assuming that maybe it's the elemental plane of water. And it looks like he's trying to throw the body into that. Or the, you know, wounded body of him. Uh, this guy moves, that's his action. This one is attacking Jareth. Misses. This one is attacking Jareth. This round. Miss. Work. Missed. End of round. Roll initiative. Is uh, Grimlock within range to heal from Yarny? He's looking at me and I can't tell like how high he is in the air or anything like that. And where he is right now, could Barney heal him without moving? Um... If he attempted to move to you, the Juggernaut would get a two attacks against him, and the other two tentacles are holding you. So you, your move, your body's moving around. He would have to move oh, to get to wait. you. I got you. The I tentacles the picked you up. Line. Yeah. No, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. So let's see what I'm gonna do. No problem. I tell you what, um, if you guys would like to take a 10 minute break, actually we'll do a 15 minute break. We'll go to 10 o'clock local time, whatever your time is, 15 minutes from now. We'll come back then. James West, right. can you go in another channel with me? And we're back, we'll get started again. Um, I'm trying to throw one of these guys into the elemental plane of water. We'll see how it goes. All right. Okay, so um, let me get back to the... Need the water sound. Oh, actually, we can do this. Yeah, that water sound was making me want to pee. <laughs> we'll do the underwater giant monster. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so everybody's rolling initiative, but Barney and Grimlock. Well, Grimlock doesn't roll initiative since he's down, unless you want me to anyway. You don't have to. What about okay. Barney? Um, yeah, he's got... Hang on, I don't know what to do for initiative for this. Let's just do this, because it's going to be the same. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Juggernaut gets to go first, apparently. You guys all rode shit-tastic. Yeah, it was the worst I could roll. Well, I think he probably rolled the best he could roll. So, I, I have a big, heavy weapon, so that that's a big penalty. All right, well, let's see. How am I going to do this? He is going to chuck. I'm just going to roll a straight up attack. And if he hits AC, 
what AC did. Oh, he hit AC negative one. So, you guys see Grimlock floating straight towards the portal. He just threw him at the portal, and he's got five feet to go, and then he's going to be going through the portal. That's what the Juggernaut did. Um, I don't think anybody else is in his AOE, so that's all his actions. Warwick. All right, I'm going to attack the guy next to me. Go for it. That's it. <laughs> Got him. Knocked him out. This is not an even round, so you do not have multiple attacks. So our next person is not, uh, not, and Jolivan, what are you going to do? Okay, I want to hit that zombie next to me with my boring stuff. All right, roll it. That's a miss. He rolled a one. <laughs> All right. Next is Parafell. Oh, All right. well, Grimlock bleeding. Then Parafell. You see how far this move is, and he's not going to care if he takes attacks of opportunity or not. It, will that get him close enough to try and grab Grimlock? Yes, no. Give me a second. So that's less than half your move? Yeah, even that slowed, it's less than half my move. I think we're right okay. at. So half your move would be 20, actually. Yeah, and that's 25 from where I'm at. So, yes, next round. What you suspect will not be soon enough. Can I, i tell you what, since, can I attempt to run and jump at him and try and knock him away? The body block thing? You will be floating. Well, I will. We will do a straight up attack at the end. It's going to be a charge. Yeah. So you'll. But you're unfamiliar with this type of environment. So your movement is a little weird. So you're going to jump, but you're going to be at a minus two to hit. Okay. And. You will be 10 foot in the air when you're done. Well, you think you will be. The guesstimate is gotcha. you're going to be like 10 feet up in front of the, the portal yourself. Gotcha. Even if you block it. So just tell me when you want me to roll. So what I need you to do is roll an attack... You can go ahead and move your guy. I won't put you there. Hold on. I'm going to put you there. So I want you to roll a two hit. Uh, just a straight out in the open. Uh, do a situational modifier of minus two. And the target AC needs to be at least five. Oh. I don't think a four did it. A four would be uh, AC 11. Okay, yeah. So you missed. You're floating. He floats right past you going into the portal or going towards the portal. Um, okay. All right. Let me click on. Oh, you did it already. I got it. <clears throat> Jareff. Okay. I'm going to also try to ignore the uh, 
the two zombies that are around me and try and and get to Grimlock before he gets through the portal. I'm a lot closer. Uh, I might have a better chance of success than Parapel. So you can't move through a uh, occupied square unless you tumble through it. Well, there's a, a zombie to my immediate west that is dead. It's dead, yep. yep. And I can swim above him, I suppose. Or just pass him. So that shouldn't count as an occupied square. Right, but if you're moving around, I'm suspecting you're going to do... Show me where you want to move. Well, there's Grimlock. The portal's right above the, the dais here, right? So I'll just, like... Yeah, it's right above the... You want to move into the portal? Well, that would put you in it. Let's take it. Is he clipping at for anybody else but me? You guys are all digitized. Yeah. Not only right. Charles. Yeah. Only Charles sounds good. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see if. Sound good now. I'm going to change the server. Uh, one second. Uh, where we're at. You yeah, guys I can hear you now, Wilson. Uh, yeah, it kept flipping uh, to really crappy and to green and to really crappy and to green, so I've switched to another server. Does this sound okay? Yes. yes. Sounds right. good here. All right. Um, so, Jareth, do your thing again. Just remember you move to the middle of that. That's in the portal. I want to move between Grimlock and the portal and snag him. So you're going to have to do the same thing that Parafel did, and I need to see how far you're going. You're going right okay, there. so you're basically going to try to occupy the same area that Parafel is in. Yeah, so right. do the same thing on the front of your character sheet. There's a Thaco value. Just double yeah. click that. Uh, but before you do that, do the situational modifier of minus two. Um, I'm going to get to swing at you with two zombies as well, but I wanted you to do that. Actually, let me do the zombies first because okay. I, I don't think they'll kill you, but. I need to double check. Make sure. That is definitely not going to hit. That hit. Won't kill you, I don't think. There we go. Alright, now then, do your uh, situation modifier minus two. And then double click the Thacko thing, and you want to hit at least AC5. All right, just double click that on the chart. Uh, on the front of your character sheet. That nope. is not an AC5, that's an AC13. That's correct. All right, so you are now floating five foot in front of the portal. Or really close to it in midair with Parafel. Bias, what are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm gonna attempt to paralyze this thing one more time. I think I have the target. <laughs> Alrighty, is that it? That'll do it. Alrighty, tick off a charge and we will go to the next person. Barney, what are you okay. doing? So Barney is going to use a scroll that's wrong character sheet. He's going to use scroll protection from elementals all. And, uh, and that affects him and everybody within 10 feet of him. And so that's going to hit, you said, we said Grimlock was within 10 feet, and so now Parafel's within 10 feet, Jareth is within 10 feet, Jalaman's within 10 feet, and then me. Correct. And One second. One yeah, second. go ahead and read the scroll. 
I need to see how long it takes. Certain scrolls like protection ones have a different sort of past time sometimes. Okay. Which one is it? Scroll of protection from elementals all. Again, this does not really... All right, so the, I'm pretty sure that protection scrolls, and let me pull up my actual book because I can't find it here. Hold on Take a second. Time, man. Because I, I think it takes a round to read a protection scroll, which yeah, is probably not what you want. I read over it in detail, you know, when, when we had uh, the break, and I didn't see anything like that in there. Otherwise, I would have chosen something else. Yeah, I may be thinking of 1E. So, yeah, let me check real quick. This is huh? uh, The initiative modifier of a scroll is its reading time for a scroll of both. This is equal to the casting item for protection scrolls. The reading time uh, is given in the explanation of the scroll effects. So, we need to find protection from elements. Because it did have a large delay associated with reading it. That's why my initiative fell all the way to the back. Because it had oh, okay. a, a very large modifier. Okay. Okay. So you've, already <clears throat> right. so you've already... If it's already in the initiative, then we're good. So. Protection from elementals. All protects them from hit dice of elementals. Yes. Okay. And that's it. Yeah, do I need to apply an effect to anybody, or how does that work? Um, well, unfortunately, right now, there are no elementals around you. So, it doesn't, it's hit dice based uh, protection from them. But there are no elementals. Like, the thing that's attacking is just an uh, animated object. Okay, didn't realize that. Thought it was an elemental. Uh, no, no, no problem, man. It's just you figured it out. So, can I delete this item from my inventory? Yes, then? you can. You can. But look at the duration and how long it is. It may matter, especially if you guys uh, are. Yeah, it's like a long time. It's five d eight rounds. Do you want me to roll um, it or what? It does it? Uh, actually, let me go back to you. Let me look at your character real quick. Let's see if that thing. I'm going. Yeah, roll five d eight, and then I'll add an effect to you. Twenty two. Yeah, we're good. So that's two turns at least. All right, so zombie goes next. He is going to attack Barney. Some hits. This one is going to move. 
This one is gonna move. This one's gonna keep whacking at orc and miss. And a brown roll initiative. Grimlock, you do not need to. Okay. Yarny, what are we doing? I'm gonna rolling some shitty ass initiatives. Go, wrong button. As long as it didn't use a spell slot. Why is that Cure Light Wound spelled that way? That's weird. Remember where you graduated from. That wasn't me, though. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I threw it in the book. I think somebody just accidentally clicked it. All right, looks like everybody but Jolliman has rolled initiative. Alright. So uh, don't worry about that. And Juggernaut goes. Uh, looks like two of his tentacles are not able to move. The other two are. And they kind of push um well, we gotta roll ahead first. Let's see. With that, Jareth goes into the portal as well. By the way, just to reiterate, Grimlock went through the portal at the end of the round. Jareth just went because he's floating right in front of the portal, 10 feet. The tentacle just swacked him and knocked him in. And the other one's going to try to swing at Parafel. And if he hits him, he goes in. He missed. Baez, what are you doing? Okay, so paralyzation did not stop that uh, juggernaut. You did paralyze two of the four tentacles. Alright. Well, I was planning on magic missileing stuff, so I guess that's what I'm going to stick with. Okay, go for it. Did all of them at once. Okay. Or is that it? Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, you did all of them at once, it looks like. And you took out a zombie. And next. There we go. Warwick. Yeah, I did the guy south of me. Do what? So I like to hit the guy solidly. Okay. That's it? You get two attacks this round, by the way. Do the other one? That's a hit as well. Ooh, max damage. And you took him out. Tell you what, I will clear the dead zombies off the map. One second. Alright, there we go. Alright, or took out his zombie. We're next to Jolman. Looks like he was casting Cure Light Wounds on somebody. Yellow. Absolutely. All right. And click the cast thing. There we 
go. And our next one is Barney. Alright, so, um, well, we got two zombies left here and the Juggernaut, correct? Yep, yep. Okay, so I just rolled normal initiative because I was going to, I didn't know, you, you can tell me how this is going to work, so, I mean, we, I t attempted to turn these guys and then the guy unturned them. Can I attempt to return them? Or is that not a thing? Do they count as try. targets now? Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and return them. Alright, target them and just click the button like you normally would then. Sure. Did that work? I don't think you clicked the turn button. You clicked the target for sure. I definitely did. I'm clicking it many times. In the combat window, oh, clicking it on the fighter. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that won't help. <laughs> yeah, you need to do it for Barney. There you go. Oh my god. Two? Even with his bonus, he still failed. Alright. Okay, Next. that's it for him. Yep. Parafel, you are floating in front of the portal. You saw your buddy just go and get sucked in. You saw the other one get snocked in. What do you want to do? There's, can't see anything on the other side. You just see water. Looks like I more water. I need some water. rope. I don't have any rope. He screams, starts screaming at somebody to give him some rope. That's what, what he's doing. He, he needs some rope. He's going to tie it on him and go through and try and find his friends, but he wants to leave rope on this side. Tie it off either to the altar or somebody holding it. Alright, so zombie's gonna keep whacking on uh, Barney. Oh, net 20. Net 20. The other one has no target, so he's gonna move over there. End of round, roll initiative. Looks like everybody has rolled. Grimlock is out of the picture. Arafel, what are you doing? I need some rope. So until I get some rope, I can't do anything. I've I'm not got gonna rope, do but I don't know if I can get it to you quickly. It's in my hand. Well, there's a zombie below you. Oh, I guess I can swing at him then, right? Yeah, you're floating above the, the thing. Yeah, you can certainly... I will, I will um, you you could you could swing. Well, I would say you could swing at the juggernaut, but you're too far. But he's not. Yeah, I think a swipe at this. Zombie. Let me let me move it back to um, Parafel, and then we'll go back to uh, Bias. Bias is casting bind. Let me get back to. Him. All right, go for it. And he missed. That is an AC. Are you sure? Because I told you guys. Oh yeah, you did. Had him targeted. Yeah. Had him targeted. AC eight is yeah. even too bad. All right. All right, Baz. Casting bind. What does it do? Well, um, if they had a rope or any rope-like object on them, like parafel or anything near parafel. Bind allows me to command that rope-like object to tie, coil, bind, do whatever, uh, kind of like a uh, magic. So the question is, is there anything that I can cast it on? Otherwise, I've got a rope in my hand, so that means I'm not going to be able to cast it right now. I'm going to have to get the rope parallel. Well, nobody yet has pulled out a rope. 
and they don't, nobody nearby has a rope slung over their shoulder or on their backpack. It just has to be visible where I can see it. Um, so unless somebody can tell me they don't have a rope in their backpack, I assume everybody's ropes are in their backpack. Yeah, probably. Mine's in my backpack. Yeah. I think, uh, Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go in there with the rope to get the parapet in. So I guess I'll be moving. Yeah. So you're not casting a spell? No. No, it's not gonna do any good if, if I can't. If nobody has any, uh, any rope or thread or yarn or cable or anything that resembles a rope. Gotcha. So that is half your move, or are you wanting to move your full move, or is that just where you want to go? Um, I think I want to go one more square. I need to get within reach of Parafel. Okay, to be there, you're going to be on top of the altar, and Parafel is on it as well. And Parafel is floating above it. Yeah. You guys are right next to the portal, too. Okay. All right. Um, well, I got to get the rope to him, so I got to get close enough to him to do it. Okay. Yeah. That's where you want to go. We'll put you there. And then we'll go start from the next round with you. All right. Auric, you're moving to attack the zombie? Yes, sir. All righty. He is targeted. That's nice. a hit. Oh, max damage too. Nice. All right. Next person is who? Barney. Pajarney. What's he doing? Uh, he's casting. He's, 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 uh, he's using his last heal. Nice. Casting it on three other people, but. <laughs> Putting it on himself. We're good. Well done? Yep, I passed. We are already. Alright, Juggernaut. He is going to take another swipe. Actually, he's going to take two swipes at Parafel since it's only thing in range. Try to knock him in. Both of them missed. Shalman. All right, I'm going to try and hit that zombie again. All right, go for it. That's a hit. Barely, but it's a hit. That's a nice damage. Ten damage. All right. And our next is Jareth is a wall. Zombies is going to keep attacking. Wow, max damage on that one. And this one's going to attack Parapo. And miss. Everybody roll initiative. Waiting on Jala. There we go. Airfield, you go first. Uh, Nobody's giving you a rope yet. No, I, I'm assuming that. Well, he's not giving me a rope. 
Not yet. No, not until the stream. Swing at the zombie then. Go for it. I've got the rope. I just can't give it to you until my initiative hits. Oh, I missed badly. <laughs> yeah. Do you have two attacks around or just one? Ah, he's this. No, he's oh, not he's not seventh yet. Yeah. 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 Alright, Grimlock is a wall. Juggernaut! Doing the same thing he did last time. He's gonna keep swinging it. Parafell. And he hits! Oh, he got me that time. Keep him six and times. But he you got see him. him. You see him whack Parafell. Parafell just he gets hit in the, the gut and he just kind of folds over and slides right into the portal and goes away. It's outstretched. Hans Gruber style falling off the building. Yep. Jareth is not here. Bias, what are you doing? You see your buddy getting, you're holding the rope out to him, you just stretched it out to him, and he gets hit by a giant tentacle and knocked into the portal. What are you going to do? I got to stop this stupid juggernaut, um, and I'm going to have to go after him. Uh, let's see. All right. Next person is who's that? Oric. Got a zombie. Got a zombie attack to the south, please. Go for it. Oh, that's a hit with a three. And max damage. And you kill it. This would be your two attack round, but there's nothing left to attack around to. So we'll move to Jolliman. Alright, casting a heal on uh, Buck. Go for it. Oof! Max! Nice, thank you. Back in the green. Alright. Barney. Well, we're running out of guys, so. Yes, you are. And one zombie left. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Oh, that's it. For one. Roll initiative. Those of you guys that are here. If you're not and you want to roll, you certainly are welcome to. I'll just skip you. I'm going to roll just so you have to skip me. Alrighty. I'd skip you anyways because it's going to set you at zero, I think. here. What are you going to do, Art? Three of your buddies are not still in the portal. You've got one more zombie. Th throw a rope to Baez? Yeah. I think he has one. Yeah, I've got one in my hand. Alright, so I guess you're going to give him another one? I was intending to toss some mine and then, and then use myself to anchor it. Okay, so tie so it off to yourself and throw the end to bias. Right. That sound good? Okay. Ah, that's what you do. Parafell is not here. Earth is not here. Baez is here. What does he do? 
Uh, it's me? No. Barney? No, Barney, sorry. Is that Barney swinging again? <laughs> That's a mess. And the Juggernaut's arms, tentacles, don't seem to be moving. Now it's bias. Now it's casting bind. Okay. So, right. Um, so, uh, he is... Okay, so he's already given... He's already handed me or tossed me the other end of the rope. Right? Yep, he's got one end tied to him and he's given you the other end of his uh, probably 50 foot. I'll double check. Let's see. Rope, 50 foot sill. Yep. The question is, can I uh, take that and take that into the rope, simply tie it around myself, and then move through the portal in the same round, or is that too separate? You can tie it off to yourself and then jump, because it's going to take you a while. It's not something simple to just tie a rope, and plus he had to hand it to you. So, I mean, it'll take this round to do it, and the next round you can jump in. Okay, so it's no different. Okay. Yeah. Then that's what I'll do, and I'll save the spell. Okay. Alright. And next is Jolliman. Alright, I'm going to try and hit that zombie again. Go for it. That's a miss. Not much luck tonight. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Next is the zombie. He's going to keep beating on Barney. And he's going to keep hitting him. Or two. Roll initiative. Oh. Roll initiative. Gentlemen. Waiting on Oric. Oric, are you just going to stand there? Oh, you got it. Or not. That was Jareth. Yeah, I don't know about Oric. You're good. No, you're fine. Oric, are you going to roll? Yeah, you don't really necessarily need to if you're just going to stand there and hold, but I just wanted to make sure. Alrighty, Bias. Alright, I'm going diving, I guess. You're going to jump into the portal. He dives in, guys. The rope starts going in and then just kind of starts floating away from it like it's not even attached to anything like it was clipped off as soon as it went through the water or the portal Baez is gone Grimlock is gone Juggernaut is not moving Orc uh, I'm going to go back to you so whenever he went through the portal you, you've got the rope tied to you um, he went through, you could feel just a slight tug, and then it went loose, and then the rope just kind of floating, the end of the rope like it was sheared as soon as it went through the portal. What do you want to do? Got any thoughts, Mike? No. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to the next person and I'll let you think about it. Uh, Jolliman. Alright, hitting the, trying to hit the zombie again. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Missed it by one. <laughs> 
Next is Perfil, who's not here. Barney. Come on, man, hit it. Yeah, you're not gonna hit it. Jareth, who's not here. Zombie, who is here? Nat 20. Eight damage. Roll initiative. So actually all I need is Jolomon and Barney. Orc. That's a hit. Roll damage. Yeah, see you showing them how it's done. Man, they can't hit the broad side of a barn. Alright. No. <laughs> None of us can. Alright. He's gonna take him out. No. All right, Juggernaut can't move. Gentlemen. All right, I'll try to hit it again. Go for it. That looks like a hit. Yeah, it's a hit. Ooh, eleven damage. And our next person is trying to get to person that's actually here. Parapel's not. Barney's here. That's a hit. You're gonna kill it. Or you're gonna keep playing with it, man. You're gonna keep playing with it. All right. Let's take a attack. Oh, I did two attacks. We'll take the first one. So the first one hit. A four. Oh, wait a minute. Why am I attacking myself? That's not how it's supposed That's to work. Because okay. zombies, are <laughs> zombies okay are that. stupid and will do that. Why did it do that? That's weird. So let me redo that attack then. There we go. All right. And I will heal my guy back. Uh, how much did he do? I can't ever remember how to do four this. Four damage, I think? I think it was four. Yeah, he did yeah. four damage. Oh, is, oh, God, I can't ever damage. remember how to do this. There we go. Alright. Alright. Next Stop round. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he had uh, targeted himself. I must have clicked it by accident when I was doing uh, Oryx targeting for him. All right, we just need Orc and Jolomon. You guys. Orc and Zombie Zombie is still, zombie there, still yeah. there, yeah. You seen the new Zombie Land? No, I have not. Oh, it's a homer. I will have to put that in my queue. They come from classes of zombies, and the dumb ones they call homers. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Orc, you get to go first. Got a zombie or yourself. He's a homer. That is a hit. And he dies. Just barely. Barely, you are correct. So that is end of combat. The Well, for now. The... Um, Juggernaut is still kind of, its tentacles are kind of just frozen in place. Um, the zombies that you guys have killed just kind of fell over and are kind of just floating in the room. And you guys look around and uh, four of your party members are all missing. What do you want to do? Oh, that uh, Juggernaut while it's paralyzed, man. I suggest you go Ginsu it, Auric, start cutting off all yeah. the tentacles. You've only got a few rounds before that. Yeah, get to it, man. I'm low health, so I'm not going to... 
I'll also uh, help kill the juggernaut. Yeah, and actually, well, I'm probably going to use a potion. Bjarni, to so, get his health up a little bit. Uh, Orc, is that what you wanted to do? Is that what you wanted to do, Mike? Well, he may have had to step away. So, um, in any case, gentlemen, you can move up to him and start whacking on him. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, couldn't he you had... hear me? No, I could not. Sorry. Just pushing the wrong button is my fault. That's okay. I said I just want to move southeast so I can start heading down to the juggernaut. All right. So, I'll move both of you guys down there. And since it is not moving, you don't have to attack it. You are you don't have to roll to hit. All you got to do is uh, whack it. So it takes you know a whack from each of you, and you guys um, do enough damage to where it seems like the uh, whatever was holding it together kind of breaks apart. And the magic fails, and the tentacles just kind of crumble and fall off, and the the you know the amalgamation of fish they just kind of break apart and just crumble into you know rubble on the floor. I'll be right back. What do you guys want to do? I'm going to take over the elemental plane of water. You might can do that. I want to, I want to find a way back. So the only ones that really matter at this point are Jolomon and Oric. Everybody else is gone. Barney is being played by a secondary person, so I can make decisions on what I think Robbie would do, and I, I'm prepared to do that. I just want to know what you two want to do. The the rope thing didn't work, right? No, it did not. It acts like it was cut off at the portal. I'm back. Like I'm a, I could try casting to spell magic, but I think it already got hit by one, so that didn't really seem to do anything. Uh, the dispel magic was on centered on Gorig, uh, Grimlock, to yeah. dispel the blind spell, the light spell that was in his eyes. It wasn't cast directly on the temple, but. Um, are on the portal itself, but based on the party's previous experience with casting dispels on the portals, they haven't had any luck with that whatsoever. Not to say you can't do it, but just FYI. So, uh, Barney is going to go look through the portal. What does he see on the other side of water? So I don't see any sign of my comrades over there, correct? You you can't see any land masses or objects or anything. It's just water, bubbles and water maybe, like swirling maelstrom of water sort of thing. Um, uh, I will search on the cannon's corpse and see if he has anything that might help us. All right, one second. I remember where he's at. Oh, and I will use a potion of healing if that's okay. Go for it. Uh, he doesn't have anything that looks like it would do anything to the portal. I mean, he's wearing a nice suit of armor. Um, he's got a ring and a rod and a robe and a golden ring. Uh, it's got a paradox in it. He's got two rings. 
One's a gold ring, one's a gold ring with a peridot in it. The robe is green velvet with with a gold belt set with lapis and malachite. What do you want to do? His armor is plate mail, by the way. Green. Looks like the green knight armor. Okay. Um, I think this is probably a good place to end it, man. I mean, what's the point at this point? I mean, I'm playing Bro Robbie's character for him anyway. Well, I, I'm, I'm going at this point. I, I'm going to, if you, I'm trying to let you do whatever you want to do with him, but I'm going to tell you what I think uh, Robbie would do and, and just do it. Um, okay. But I'm waiting for the other two to decide what they want to do. I would uh, maybe grab the the cannon head and examine it to see if it looks like it might have any effect on the portal. Well, you can certainly, if you have, do you have any spellcraft uh, skills? You do not. I mean, we've seen several of these portals before and we've never done anything that's had any effect on them. So, Ra, uh, Barney has spellcraft. Yep. And his examination of the equipment just looks like it's equipment. Um, some of it does probably have magical properties. He's not sure if they do, but he doesn't think they have anything to do with the portal. In fact, he thinks the portal is probably entirely separate and controlled by something far powerful, more powerful than this guy. Yeah. So what Barney's going to do, he grabs the body with all the stuff. He slides it into the portal and he stands up on the the uh, the uh, altar there and he says, uh, I'm going to go through. What are you guys going to do? So Barney goes through the portal? Is that what you're saying? That's what he's going to do, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Brian, do you think I'm wrong here? No, I don't think. I think he would attempt to say this. Yeah. And so, um, but you said Barney grabbed the stuff? Off he grabbed the, the body and just chucked it in. Chucked it in the bag of holding or chucked it in the portal? He threw it through the portal. Okay, got it. All right, good. We either, we either go in or we don't, is the way I see it. Uh, yeah, you certainly I, can do whatever you want, but again, based on what's there, I know how Robbie probably would react. The rest of you guys, you do whatever you want. I'm just trying to, since uh, Robbie isn't here. That's the thing. I would, I would do that, but it's Robbie's character, and I don't know <laughs> him, right? So I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that with another person's character. You see what I'm You're saying? Good. Yeah, don't because worry about we've it. I, I, I'll take these full portals in the past, and what? I will take full. I'll take full there. responsibility. Okay, got it. This is me doing it for him. So, if I'm wrong, then I will pay. I will rob, and I will have a discussion about it. But so, right. rest of you guys. So this is up to Jolliman and and Oric. What do you two want to do? So Barney's going in the portal. Yeah, he's he's not left yet. He's giving you guys the option to. You know, he'll he'll do whatever he can for you before he leaves, but his intent is to try to... He's saying he hopes that they're not dead on the other side and he wants to try to get them out. On my genre, if it's something clerical, we would look at it, but I can't do anything with the portal that I know of. Yeah. Well, Rob, uh, Barney examined it, and he couldn't figure anything out um, on how to disable it or do anything with it. All he knows is that it's a portal um, to the elemental plane of water or a you know, para-elemental plane of water, you know, some sort of sub, you know, not entirely water. You're not entirely... He, he doesn't know. He just knows that's probably what it is. And for all he knows, he could be jumping into a giant thing of water he can't get out of and will drown like the other four people did.
Come on, man. Possibly did. That's Maybe. possibly. Yeah. Okay. Could have. Could have, yeah. What do you want to do? I'm going to go with uh, Barney. Alrighty. What does Orc want to do? Mike, what does Orc, uh, Orc want to do? I'll go tie off. Do what? I'll go tie off Barney with the with the what I have left of the rope. Okay. All righty. So Barney uh, says, "All right, here we go." He goes in, and. Uh, does the rope does the same thing that uh, it did with uh, Baez? It goes in, pulls tight, and then it just kind of releases and it, like shears right at the portal. Just not a big whoosh or anything, is it? Uh, there's a splash, and I did that. I, if you were listening, if the, if the I, I was shut off. Okay, yeah. There was a splash when he went through. Okay. Just wanted the big fleshy whoosh like a Stargate. So, Jalbin looks like he's getting ready to go through as well, or what do you want to do? I can do anything. Well, you can't. Do you, you, can't uh, you you can do what they're doing if you want, or you can try to just leave the temple and uh, say good riddance or good luck, <laughs> whatever you want to say. So, Jollyman, you gonna go jump through? Yeah, I'm gonna do. All right. My rope out before I do, uh, and just have it ready. But yeah, I want to. So you're gonna jump through with your rope in your hand. Correct. All right, good idea. Remember that. <laughs> Jollyman jumps through the portal. What are you gonna do, Mike? I'll go through. All right, everybody okay. goes through. All right, so what we're going to do is now we will pause it. <laughs> and uh, we will... <laughs> uh, and we will start up... Um...